everyone and welcome back to a new video. Um, how are we all? Did we all have a nice Valentine's? Um, it is the day after Valentine's when I'm just filming this and yeah we had a really nice night. It was, it was chilled, we just we had a hello fresh meal but it wasn't the best it was quite disappointing actually because we paid extra but yeah <laughs> it was like a chicken and chorizo tagliatelle uh, pasta dish um it was nice i just really like my pasta quite creamy um and it was quite dry and oily um and then we attempted to do like a garlic baguette like turvenshire thing um that was also sent and that just went disastrous as well <laughs> it was kind of like cheese on bread rather than nice crusty and toasty garlic bread but yeah um but we had a lovely dessert and we played some dominoes with the dominoes that previously shown in the other video yeah it was just a nice chilled and i got some lovely uh, valentine's roses from adam as well and um, he always gets them every year i'm so lucky so yeah they are currently in the kitchen and he also got me a, a really funny valentine's day card we watch the traitors so for those of you who don't know um there's kind of like traitors and faithfuls um so he got me a really funny card that said i will always be a faithful <laughs> happy valentine's day yeah so i kind of have to get really organized today because it is thursday and as i previously mentioned in my other video me helena and rebecca are going on chess's hendu this weekend which i'm so excited for oh so we need i need to pack everything um so i've got some stuff laid out here that i will show you um some items that i will be taking on the trip with me and um, so there'll be some pieces that i'm going to show you that i'll be wearing whilst on the weekend just in case you guys want to see it on um, and just kind of like a try on haul for myself just so I know what I'm packing and because I like to be organized so, um, so I don't want to be rushing around because we will be setting off quite early tomorrow like I previously mentioned Chess doesn't have a clue where she's going um, so yeah she's finding out tonight actually I think some of her family and friends are going to tell her so yeah, she'll actually find out tonight and then she will be all setting up tomorrow. Uh, so a little road trip, it was quite a long way, so we've kind of like planned our route. I'll be driving me, um, Helena and Rebecca. So yeah, we're gonna, we've planned a Neptune outlet um, stop on the way, of course. I will obviously do some filming around there, which is exciting. The first piece I want to show you um, is, so I recently got this. Uh, from Katie Loxton and so it's just the perfect little travel case to take away with you so it is this lovely tan colour and it's got like the gold hardware on it and it's also got my personalised um, initials there for you can you see that the RJC and obviously the brand in there and it's also got one of those um, zip cut the cord things to lock it as well which is makes it super secure but it's lovely it's really nice and it's got like a top handle as well I actually took this away with us when we went to the lakes so it came in really handy um, and I'll just show you quickly inside so it's kind of different to like a normal suitcase you've got like a really deep pocket in in this side which I find super handy and then they've just got these little um, pockets so we've got a zip one here and then stuff to put in and then they also have a zip lock in there and then you can also tie everything with the elastic so I'm going to keep that out and pack a few things I've kind of tried to make a list on my phone of everything that I need and I've also done kind of like a mood board as well on my phone <laughs> of like outfits so yeah I'll pop that down there for now or just over here so we kind of have like a theme for each night and um, so I don't want to give too much away obviously this will this won't go live till after the Hindu anyway but yeah it's kind of like one of those things where it's I've kept it a secret for so long and all the girls have done so well and I feel weird talking about it now to you guys but <laughs> um so yeah Friday when we when we arrive at the place we are um, we've just got a big house and so everyone would kind of having like a chilled night because obviously people might be working and stuff so we are all having like a pamper pj party and having cocktails and games and 
yes it's good that's gonna be really fun and the theme for that is pastel theme so i have gone for these gorgeous pajamas show you so i've gone for these gorgeous pastel mint colored pajamas and these are from chelsea piers who i haven't actually ordered from before and um, when i was looking um, i wanted kind of like a nice sagey green and this was like the closest that i could find uh, but it's got this beautiful i'll just show you up close this beautiful lace design um that i really loved about it and we've all kind of gone for like the, the same design we saw the silk pajamas with the piping um so yeah i think i what, what i might do is i might try these on with you guys just so you can see what they look like on but i've gone for a bigger size up as well because i really like my pajamas quite loose i don't like them when they're tight fitted so i think i think i actually got a 10 a really nice loose and baggy they've got a nice elasticated waist here so yeah what i might do is show you those so this is what the pastel pajamas look like on i am really happy with them but yeah i've sized up on these and they are so comfortable the fabric is really nice like i love the lace detail here the piping detail is beautiful and i can like stand them up a bit i can tuck them up under like this if i wanted to more of like a relaxed feel and um, these are from chelsea pierce and i ordered these from john lewis um, no i'm really happy with those um i did see some on amazon as well so i'll link those below because they are slightly cheaper i don't think they are like a silk they're more like a cotton fabric but they have short sleeve version as well really really like those and as part of the friday night chess's sister who's organized an amazing weekend she's done so well with planning it all but the friday she's asked everybody to get chess a gift it's kind of like a funny gift so something that is either something that reminds you of chess or you've just got like a running joke between one another or even just a simple just a nice gift um so we've got a budget of 10 pounds and under so i've actually i ordered this on etsy uh, quite a while ago so i've not actually opened it um, so I'll show you guys now um, because obviously I've not known Chess for that long we've known each other just over a year now and the one thing we have in common is home related things so I've kind of got her something that's home related that's useful that she can actually use but it's kind of like got something on it that's I know she'll also love it's kind of like combining two things that she loves um, and I think I think she'll really love, really find it funny. So it is this wooden spoon. So know what you guys are thinking. You're gonna be thinking why? <laughs> but I know she has like a little vase styled up in her kitchen where she likes to put her utensils. So obviously it'll come in handy for that sense. But if you guys don't know Chess or follow her on Instagram. She is a huge Taylor Swift fan. Like she's got, she's managed to get tickets to go and see her this year, and I'm so jealous because oh, I love Taylor Swift. Um, so I've actually got um, Taylor Swift face engraved on the wooden spoon, <laughs> and also you could personalise um, the. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it there. Uh, so it says happy hen weekend chairs kiss kiss so i thought it's just a really cute little thing that she can use style up in her home um if we have a, a few cocktails she could use it as a microphone when she's um, singing to taylor swift but yeah i hope she likes that and yeah it's just a just a funny gift that i know she'll probably she'll probably use so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what everyone else has got her uh, like a family and friends so yeah it'll be it's such a good idea and kind of a way of not an icebreaker but just to get to know chess more and like there'll be i'm sure there'll be lots of funny stories of her when she was growing up and everything um so yeah i love that it's a really nice detail as well i can't quite remember i think it was I think it was 7 99 or 8 99 but then you pay extra for like the engraving and um the picture on it as well but no i just love that it's just a really cute fun idea so what i might do now is um because i don't want it to like i don't want to just wrap the spoon up so i'm going to keep it in the packaging and find some nice wrapping paper today and wrap it up for it <laughs> and next up i have a very exciting piece to show you 
Um, so this brand in particular is sponsored by this video and I've always wanted something like this especially with spring arriving I will be swapping out all my wardrobe and I never could find a bag like this that was good quality stand the test of time is like a timeless and classic look and kind of something that will go with every outfit as well it's a new staple piece in my wardrobe and I've not been huge on like because I love home related stuff I would rather spend my money on our home and like artwork and just things around the house like cushions <laughs> and napkins and everything like that so I don't really tend to go crazy in terms of my my wardrobe and accessories so this is a real real nice treat for myself and I feel super lucky to have received this so it is from the brand Teddy Blake New York and I think I actually I've seen this pop up on my Instagram and I've seen a few girls seen girls on YouTube with this particular brand and I've always been like clicking on the pictures and seeing what the brand is and I've seen a lot of Teddy Blake so I feel very lucky to have received this and when the brand got in contact with me I got the choice of which bag I would like and there were so many so many bags to choose from and obviously if you I will pop the link in the description box but if you guys don't see what you like on the website they're bringing new styles out every month now I've always been a lover of Hermes and the Birkin bags but that is totally out of budget for me <laughs> uh, maybe one day win the lottery um, but no it's totally I mean you can get pre-loved but yeah they're just a, a huge investment and something that I probably will never have in this lifetime but this brand in particular designs their handbags we create that designer look and the bags are all made in Italy they are all made with real Italian leather so it's a real luxury leather piece and they had so many gorgeous colours as well but um, this colour in particular I have chosen because it's one of the most iconic colours of the Hermes Birkin bags. <laughs> so I've unpackaged it all and so I've just kept it in this beautiful dust bag which I find so handy when it comes to keeping your bags clean and tidy and obviously you can take better care of them when they are in a dust bag and it just obviously prolongs the life of the bag i really love when brands tend to do this as well oh so i'm going to open it up now with you guys and it is da -da. this how beautiful is this so i will just show you a little close up um, so this is the Ava bag and the colour is the Cognac Brown and it is a beautiful tan shade with gold hardware and it's also got the beautiful branding and also if you take a look at the back it also has the branding on the back and with this handy zip on this little secret compartment. But I absolutely love this bag. I love the lock and the key. Again, that's kind of like a nod to, to the Hermes. But this is a really good size. So they do varied sizes in this style bag as well. They do like a smaller one and a larger one. So one of the things I absolutely love about this brand is that all the handbags are made from real Italian leather. And as soon as I opened up the bag, you could smell the real leather, which oh, there's just nothing better. I love, love the fact that it's real leather. So I've chosen the cognac colour, but they are available in lots of other colours. So there was black, there was burgundy, and there was browns, yellows, all bright colours as well. Really nice. But I really love the cognac colour because it's kind of a classic colour for me. And obviously with the belt that I'm wearing today, it will match perfectly. Um, I've got some shoes that arrived this week for spring, some ballet flats. And they just match this colour of leather perfectly. I will link um, this particular one down in the description box. 
but this is kind of like the perfect size for me so it can fit like my my, pur my purse my phone my vlogging camera little bits of makeup and stuff so yeah i really like it we'll just show you inside so it just kind of so it just lifts up there and you can just open it like that and the nice thing about this is i quite like um so for you guys who don't watch like lydia millen she has this open when she styles it on her videos like she just carries it like that and obviously you notice um that it matches my hermes dupe belt perfectly as well <laughs> which is just really nice um but yeah this inside so it's got a beautiful suede inside that's all real and it's got this um zip inside but it's a really good really good size and then inside they've also got some straps as well which is super handy so they just clip on they clip there they just clip onto the top handle which obviously if you guys don't want to necessarily have just a handbag like that you can also have it long strap as well i can't wait to style this bag up it's honestly i feel i feel so lucky it just makes me excited for all the spring outfits all the florals yeah i just oh, i can't wait it's just beautiful and it's oh, i just even just the handle the satisfaction i get from just holding this handle like it's so sturdy and yeah i just love like the gold accents because i wear a lot of um gold jewelry myself and yeah i just love it and i think i'm gonna bring it along with me this weekend to chess's hendo i'll have to be obviously super careful with it i'm gonna bring the dust bag along with me yeah what i might do is i will insert some clips of how i plan on styling it so i am just trying on some potential outfits for the weekend in bath and we need comfortable footwear so these ballet flats might actually be perfect <laughs> to take with me when i actually try these on they do feel quite tight now i've gone for a five and a half so i might potentially swap to a six because my feet are quite hot at the minute so maybe when a bit cooler but they are super comfortable they're really nice and obviously the beautiful bag matches perfectly so i've just teamed it with matching belt and accessories i really like this look this is the blazer that i recently got that you will have seen in my previous vlog that's from h and and um, i'm not so sure if they still got it or not but i will link it down below if they do and um, i've got this arquette jumper on and some classic Topshop jeans and i actually need some more because they're kind of fading a bit now but they're just top shop jeans you just can't beat them but i do know abercrombie do really nice ones as well so maybe i need to try and find some skinny skinny jeans from them but no i really like this look it'd be good if we're going shopping or we have a lovely tour a bridgerton tour that we're doing so this might be perfect and let me just team it with a coat just in case so this coat i got about two years ago now from zara and it's such a great i think it's max mora who did it who brought it out it's such a great dupe for it just sort my hair out yeah so it's this is from zara about two years ago now but i think i'm sure mango do ones very similar but no i absolutely love this look and i know bath is going to be freezing cold this weekend because obviously we're in england and it's february <laughs> really like this just love the brown tones of it and uh, is, this has come with comes with a belt as well and i've also got my katie loxton scarf let me just style it up <laughs> it's oh, i always find it better when you style outfits and you can really see what the outfit's going to look like um so let me just cinch it in and as well having all these layers sometimes like it cannot be flattering at all So yeah, I think I really like this look and it'd be nice and toasty warm because I hate being cold. There's nothing worse than walking around in the freezing cold. Yeah, I'm actually take my Fairfax and Favour boots as well to go with this because having my feet out in the cold might not be the wisest idea. But no, I'm absolutely loving this bag. I just know I'm going to get so much use out of it already. It just works perfectly, like with the belt 
and then the tops of the shoes work really nicely with it so this is what I plan on wearing for Saturday evening it is this beautiful odd muse dress that I recently got it's so cute I absolutely love the shape that it's giving me it actually makes me look skinnier than I actually am <laughs> um, it's really flattering like these cap sleeves here and then how it goes across it just cinches me in at the waist and then pops out it's a really pretty silhouette and I feel really girly and pretty in this I've just teamed it with some opaque tights and um, my Michael Kors bag so just trying to keep with all the black theme that will be the theme for Saturday evening and then I, if I just step back, I popped them with my shoes from Zara. They've got like a really cute bow detail on them. Really like them and just little, little subtle hints like the fake pockets just add a bit more detail rather than it just being an all black dress. But yeah, I'm just thinking whether, debating whether to put my hair up or not. I think it looked really cute with my hair up but no, I really like this. I can have the bag down like this. Really like that. I'm just going to have to be really super careful because it is a little bit sh on the short side. <laughs> really like that. Um, so yeah, just need to decide whether to put her up or down um, or curly. Just depends on the weather as well, doesn't it? So I might end up just shoving it in a bun <laughs> if I get if it stresses me out too much. No, I really like that. And this I think is the perfect outfit for travelling in. So I've got this jumper that you probably will have seen in another video. I'm sad to say it's a few years old now. It's from H&M, just a classic knitted jumper. Uh, let me just roll the sleeves up. Try and style it up a bit more. Yeah, I've just teamed it up with some some more tights. And my Ralph Lauren ballet pumps and obviously the bag. So yeah, it's just a nice easy outfit to wear that's comfortable and still kind of fashion on trend. Oh no, I don't really follow trends to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's just a comfortable and practical outfit. <laughs> Blake have very kindly given me a discount code to save some money off this bag so I'll pop that in the description box down below um, along with the link to this bag and some other ones um, that I love because there are so many choices online. Um, I was going back and forth just debating but when I initially looked on the website I was looking at more burgundy bags um, to match my new birthday boots but with this time of year I think I'm going to get a lot more use out of this tan bag all year round rather than just burgundy because that's kind of more like an autumn winter colour. So yeah, this is kind of like an all rounder. So I would definitely recommend this colour. I can't wait to style this up. It's beautiful. I'm just going to be very precious about it now. <laughs> Sticking with the luxury theme and more fashion items that I've received recently. So these I ordered um, a few days ago and with obviously that I knew the bag that was arriving I want to get more tan accessories ready for spring summer and I never I don't actually own some ballet flats in a tan colour and when I've looked on like the high street and everywhere they just never have the right style that I like and either the ones that I like are sold out or it might be quite early on in the season maybe if I look more summertime but they tend to be more like sandals um, so these when um, I was actually looking at them and I nearly added them to my basket and then Lydia Millen shared them um, on a blog post and I messaged her and I was like this is the approval that I need if it gets the Lydia Millen seal of approval I know I'm making the right purchase and this year I, I'm kind of trying to concentrate on not just buying the latest it trend or fashion trend I really want to invest in pieces that I know that I will love get the wear out of and just won't be a wasted purchase um, and for these I know I will wear throughout spring and summer they'll go with so many outfits even today's outfit probably will and yeah so let's open it up um, so the brand is Ralph Lauren or Ralph Lauren, I don't know how you say it, the posh way, or the northern way <laughs> um, but yeah this is the brand I've never purchased from before and it comes beautifully packaged 
um, with the nice Ralph Lauren logo tissue paper and then it's got a beautiful sticker. I don't actually want to ruin the packaging of this. So let's just see if I can try and get in. Oh, these are these beautiful, um, very similar colour to the bag, like a cognac tan leather. Ballet flat. And the one thing I love about this is that it's a pointed toe. So I have a few ballet flats from like Marks and Spencers with the rounded toe with like the little bow on, which I love and they are really comfortable. So if you do want to treat yourself to some ballet flats, I couldn't recommend Marks and Spencer um, enough because they have like a cushioned um, insole as well. So if there's some available online, I will link them down below. But yeah, the one thing I love about this is the pointed toe. Um, I find it really like elongates my leg when I'm wearing like skinny jeans or trousers or like crop jeans I'll probably wear with them. It's really, um, what's the word? It's really flattering when you have a pointed toe like this. Um, so yeah, so a few other things. So it, they are real leather and it's also got this um, branding on the back. I don't know if you can see that, the Ralph Lauren branding. And yeah, and it's also got this really nice little detail on the bottom of the sole. It just The really sad thing is that they just don't fit. They Well, they do fit. I can try them on to, sh to show you how I would style them up. But yes, very sadly, they are just tiny bit too small um so i am going to exchange those but they are beautiful i love that and if i get if i just pop it next to my teddy blake bag like how nice you can't literally get a better match than that can you <laughs> it's so nice i can't wait to style both of those up and sticking with the shoe theme these are another pair of shoes that i picked up especially for chessie's hendy this weekend and they are a really cute little bow design and um, just a sling back heel and they are quite high so normally i tend to go with a bit of a smaller heel so we'll have to try them on and see how they are i really like these they're kind of like a satin satin material and then the bow is just a different material it's kind of like a great i don't know what how you describe that it's kind of like a ribbed but it's it's not it's quite like a sturdy bow obviously to keep the shape of the bow and these I think I've still got the price of these on here so these were 30 pounds so I really like those and they will go perfect perfectly with the dress that I have in mind and um, so the Saturday is actually a black theme so all the girls are going to be in black and Chess is going to be in white which I absolutely love I love when there's a theme to an eye Um, it kind of makes it easier to plan your outfit almost because you all know that everyone's going to be in black so there's not going to be any like colours or you're all just going to Blending nice. Now the next piece is are home related. Um, so if you guys didn't see my last video, I received some beautiful artwork from Trove Print. And this other brand I am about to show you is another amazing fine art prints um, brand that I work closely with on Instagram. And they have very kindly sent me some new pieces in. I kind of wanted some new artwork for the kitchen and also one for the hallway to match the one that I previously shown. So for you guys, if you didn't see my video, this, this is the print that I got from Troll Prints. So it's this beautiful landscape print. I love like the greens and the cool tones and this frame, which I know you guys, I got so many messages um, saying, oh, why don't Dunham do this frame? I know, I just wish they would, but yes, very sadly they don't. Yeah, this is the print that will go up in the hallway. And this is what the other print that I picked up from Muse Home. And it is this gorgeous print. So again, sticking with the landscape theme and they've got the little boats on the lake. I just love anything like greens and like browns. I just love anything landscape um, when it comes to artwork. And again, this really reminds me of our recent trip to the Lake District. So I think those two together, I don't know if you can see that, let's see. I'm gonna pop them together. <laughs> those two, I really think complement each other really nicely. And so yeah, so that was kind of the plan in choosing both of these prints. These will go up in the hallway soon, I hope. I still need to ask Adam. <laughs> and the next print is 
So this one was what Muse at Home shared recently on their Instagram and as soon as I saw it I was like oh, that is a gorgeous print. Let me just show you. So it is this beautiful wine still life print. It's actually got the, the painter's name on it so it's Helen Searle. Um, so she's actually got um, a signature on there. But yeah it's this just a simple still life print and I like wine. And I thought this would like, complement really well in our kitchen. So I just love the tones of it, like this background and then with the greens um, and the browns. And it's got this little, I don't know if it's a wasp or a bee. But yeah, I really, really like that. And these glasses, funnily enough, they really, they really remind me of the ones at Neptune that I got recently. Um, it's not kind of like a martini, like champagne coupe like that. It's more like a wine glass, but it's still got this nice design here. I think it's from the Greenwich collection I think. When I saw this on Musee Homes Instagram they not only do they provide prints but they do framing as well uh, bespoke framing and, and hand paint it themselves which I absolutely love. They had a really nice like cream uh, frame and a beautiful mount and it just looked beautiful. I've actually speaking of frames I actually went out to the range recently and I bought some um, so I kind of need your guys' help to decide which frame to keep. Um, so there's two frames that I've bought. Let me just get those for you. But the first frame I bought was this one. So this is a frame that I actually have already. I have this in our guest bedroom. And I think it's one of the new collections, actually, for the range, because I haven't seen it um, like last year or anything. It's quite recent. Um, so if I just show you up close it's like a really nice warm wood finish I, th I wish i could show you properly but i want to keep in case i don't decide to keep it i want to keep it in a cellophane obviously so you guys can help me and comment down below which you prefer so if i pop this just on top just so you get an idea yeah, that kind of straight <laughs> so that's kind of like the idea that i had for one of them um i really like the wood um, of this but I just wish the frame was a little bit thicker. I think the wood complements the colours of the the print really nicely and it's a good size as well Um, I don't plan on putting it with anything else on the wall in the kitchen kind of just next to our fridge where we have the bench and the radiator cover I just want to put it on that wall there so yeah that is the first one so I bought two things for this one and um, so I brought a frame and a mount because as much as I love this frame, I think when you put, when it doesn't have a mount board, it doesn't feel as, I don't know, it kind of, I think if you add a mount board to, um, to a frame, it kind of makes it look more expensive and more of original piece. So this is the frame that, the other frame that I bought, and it is this lovely cream, but it's got like this, um, rustic effect around it as well and um, so i'll just show you up closely so yeah it's just a nice cream um and yeah this all the way around it's just got this not etching it's just it's kind of like it's like a weathered look rustic look almost and obviously if i just show you what it would look like without the mounts obviously the print is too small but i really wanted quite a big frame for this piece and obviously if I just show you what it would look like without the mounts, obviously the print is too small, but I really wanted quite a big frame for this piece. So I bought this mount board. So what I plan on doing is I'm gonna do a few test colors on the back to see which, comp which colors complement the picture. But if I just try and show you, Yeah, you kind of get like the look of how I would style it but do you understand what I mean like this quite a big frame because obviously this print is only a three size um if I did want it bigger I probably should have gone with the a2 um and I think the mount the mount was only a few a couple of pounds I need to decide what color mounts I am going to paint it but I think like a nice green or even the cream but more of like a muted cream because if i keep it as it was i think like that it it's kind of clashes with the original color 
So even if I try and get something, maybe a brown would work quite nicely or a green. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a few color test patches on the back and see how we get on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that all framed nicely. So let me know what frame you would prefer. Um, and yeah, I will just have to have a think, but I look forward to hearing your thoughts.